One of the many things that makes Borderlands such a standout series of games are the characters. The ones that you play, the ones that you encounter, the villains, and they're sort of in between. Today I want to go over the characters of Borderlands 3, specifically focusing on the new playable characters to Vault Hunters, talking about the villains a little bit, but also going over the returning cast from previous games, whether they've been confirmed to be in the game or not, and just giving you a download on who's going to be involved, the archetypes of the characters you'll be playing, that kind of stuff. My name is Ryan Central, you can subscribe for more Borderlands content. I'm really excited to do a lot of stuff and builds on the game as it comes out. With any luck, it has a good amount of depth that I can really get myself stuck into it. With that said, a lot of this information does come off previous leaks that came out quite a while ago, but considering how accurate they were when it came to the trailer, I would say that these leaks are pretty credible in the information that they reveal. We can also learn more from watching the gameplay trailer, right? With that said, there are some leaks that are wrong, so there's a chance that some of this information may be wrong or just outdated. An example would be that one of the leaks said that all of the element types for weapons are going to return other than slag, lasers and ice. But we do see slag and laser weapons in the trailer. So as I said, some of this stuff might be wrong, so do take it with a pinch of salt. With that said, I wouldn't be using these leaks as information if I didn't feel that they were credible. They already have a lot of stuff right. So that's why I wanted to go over it here. Before we get started on the Vault Hunters that we'll be playing in Borderlands 3, some important information needs to be gone over with significant changes that may come in for Borderlands 3 in comparison to 2, 1, the pre-sequel. So this is just more of a heads up. Instead of all of the Vault Hunters having one main action skill, such as Roland Scorpio turret, the phase abilities of the Sirens, instead of having a one ability, it sounds like they may have multiple, around three abilities each, which I think is important to note. But we'll start with the Siren class Amara, as she's the easiest to pinpoint what her abilities are going to be, both off the leaks, but also the gameplay that we've seen from her. Amara is a Siren, but she's going to be melee focused, much like Brick was in Borderlands 1. And honestly, probably the class I'm going to be playing myself. The leak says that she has three action skills, one being a ground pound, which we can see on screen now, a phase lock that can hold three enemies at once, much like Maya's ability I'm supposing, and a self-projection that can fire at enemies, very similar to Jack the Doppelganger in the pre-sequel. But he also said that she can be a buff character. I'm not quite sure specifically what that means. Maybe you could support and augment your team to make them stronger. But this goes over some other key information that we've learned too. In previous Borderlands games, you had the three talent trees, right? Which had particular things that you could choose from to make builds around each of the three playstyles, at a glance at least. Well, apparently in Borderlands 3, it's just going to be one big talent tree that you can use. Which I can understand if that sounds a bit concerning. One of the big things about Borderlands are the builds and stuff that you can run, and the different talent trees really did complement that to an extent. But there is some really cool information I want to go over in a second, which makes this a lot more exciting. But we do have a melee-focused hero here, but also a buff-focused hero, apparently. Maybe there's going to be more builds around that? Who really knows at this point? But now I wanted to go over Flack, who is the Beastmaster in the game. He's going to be effectively a Hunter Archetype class in this game. And you will be able to choose between three different pets who we do get to see. It's a Spider Ant, a Skag, and a Flack. And each of them will have their own abilities. So maybe Flack doesn't use abilities himself really, but you pressing the action skill buttons makes your pets do certain abilities, right? It's hard to say really at this point how that's going to specifically break down, but a lot of focus for you is going to be choosing the right pets at the right time. But we do get a good look of them here. There's a really interesting theory surrounding Flak that I do want to go over again towards the end of this video, so I will keep coming back to this. Now I want to go over Moe's, that is the soldier class in the game. It's a very common archetype, much like the Sirens the previous games have run with, but she's very tech and robot focused. Her main ability is the fact that she could jump into a big bear mech, which not only can she move around the pilot herself, much like a mech in Titanfall, but also you can specialize in a way that allows your teammates to jump on the top of it to use the turret attached to the mech, which again, we see in the gameplay. No doubt a lot of the builds that you can make around Mose is going to be the gadgets that she has. Apparently she has a big corp focus, much like Roland did in the first game. But I am interested to see whether there are in inverted commas ultimates in the game. Because having a mech pretty much on cooldown all the time seems a bit strong. Maybe there are some abilities that are stronger but have a much longer cooldown as an example. That's kind of what I mean by ultimates. But all of these abilities that we've gone over so far do sound completely different from one another. 
and really nailing their different classes in the game, I think is something that Borderlands has always done really well, and I can't wait to see what they do here now that this game's been in development for quite some time. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have Zane, which is the operative. Big melee, assassin focus, can stealth, can use decoys as we see in the gameplay. His background is that he's very rich. He's been compared to Batman quite a lot from different sources, but no doubt there will be some elements of stealth that he could run, maybe a shotgun build. I always found that quite interesting in previous games that you can go down certain avenues. But that's unfortunately everything that we know so far. There's a good amount of information in there that you really get a good understanding of what the archetype of these classes are, but specifically how abilities and builds may work, we are yet to see. And I don't really want to speculate too much, I feel like I've already done that enough. But it's more to give you ideas of what they can potentially do as opposed to waffling on for no reason. I went over the talent tree before, I can understand why people may be scared that they are dumbing down a lot of the depth of content. They wouldn't be the first game to do that as an example. But one thing that I did see that I was very interested in is some information about guns. This is what it has to say. Guns are reworked. You'll have changeable gear parts on various rarities slash stats. You'll be able to alter the type of gun, the firing rate, the reload speed, the stability, and elements as you find new parts. And weapons now have more parts, which means more variations, lots of weapons, some form of weapon customization, but details are still vague. So it does sound like whilst the talent tree may be stripped apart a little bit, gun variation and stats being able to mod stuff with any luck might be the difference here. You know, similar to like Division 2 system of being able to mod with scopes, magazines, handles to tailor a gun to be more like the style that you want. Building for fire rate but losing out on accuracy does kind of things. The more things that the game allows you to customise, the better, and the gun system already in Borderlands is great. Before we go over returning and old characters, I want to go over the final new characters that we've not yet highlighted, which are the main villains, the Calypso Twins, Tyreen and Troy. From the gameplay that we've seen, we know that Tyreen is a siren, and we know that she faces off against Lilith in one way or another. But one interesting thing that you may have missed is that in the first bit of gameplay that we see of Lilith, she has her siren tattoos. Yet in this shot that we just showed, she has them stripped, and there is also another shot of Tyreen, which looks like it's in the same spot as this this shot that she's siphoning some form of power. What's also been speculated is that she's passing the power over to Troy which again is quite interesting because maybe he's a siren which is unlikely considering all of the other sirens are female or have been in the past or he relies on that power to survive or whether he's just stocking up on as much siren power as possible for some other reason. It's yet to be really explained for us but we do know the power of these two, the ability to take siren powers away, succeeded with Lilith and no doubt looking for Maya who also shows up in this trailer, and of course Amara who is a playable character. The children of the vault are going to be the main enemies, which follow the Calypso twins, so no doubt you're going to have a lot of run-ins with both of them. But speaking of villains, of course a big question from the gameplay is going to be, is Handsome Jack back? Well we know that Handsome Jack dies at the end of Borderlands 2, but he does come back in some fashion for Tales from the Borderlands, in AI form to torment Reese. And we do know now that Tales from the Borderlands is of course canon, but we don't really know the true ending. Of course it's a telltale game, there are multiple endings that you can have, but one of the key turning points in that game is whether you decide to have Reese live with Jack in his head, or whether you decide to kill him completely. Some of the leaks lead to believe that he will return in some fashion in AI form, but he won't be the villain in that case, but this one's still a bit up in the air. Would you prefer Handsome Jack to be in this game or not? Let me know in the comments below. But seeing as we just mentioned Tales from the Borderlands, let's go over the characters from there first and which ones will be returning in Borderlands 3. Well, in the trailer we do get to see Reese alongside Zero, who we can go over shortly. In the first Mask of Mayhem trailer, we also saw Vaughn, which was confirmed to us, I do believe. But also according to other leaks, Fiona and Gortis will be in this game helping you out as NPCs too. But an interesting theory is of course Loderbot, who had a pretty significant transformation, but some are speculating that Flak, the Beast Hunter, is actually going to be Loderbot because they look very similar. I'm not sure if I believe it that much myself, but again, I am really interested to hear what you guys think. All of the other characters in Tales from the Borderlands, I don't believe we've had any confirmation that they're in there. Going on to Borderlands 1, we do know that Claptrap is going to make a return alongside the surviving Vault Hunters from that game, Lilith, Mordecai and Brick. Tannis will be returning and it seems that she's going to be a big focus on the game. Marcus and Moxie will be there, but unfortunately not Scooter. Borderlands 2, we know that Maya was in the trailer, so was Zero, but we haven't seen Axton, Salvador, Krieg or Gage. 
Tiny Tina is there, as is Sir Hammerlock and Ellie. As for the pre-sequel, we know that Aurelia is going to be there, we see her very briefly, but no confirmation on the rest of the cast, such as Athena, which maybe we see the back of her hair, it's hard to say, but still waiting on information for Nisha, Wilhelm and Timothy the Doppelganger. If I missed any characters, apologies, there's a big group of characters that I would like to see in the game, but do let me know in the comments below who you would like to see. If you preferred this video, we'll of course be going over the upcoming news as it comes out, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you for watching it till the end, take care and I'll see you soon.